Good morning. I'm interviewing Alan Graves, the CEO of Do Not Age. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, Alan, it's really good to see you again. How are you doing? Good to see you too, Nils. I'm very well, thank you. Just landed back in the country uh, yesterday. So, Is there anything going on with um, your work or Do Not Age that people might not know about that was not on our list of questions? Let's have a think. I suppose the, the new website is something that a lot of people won't be aware of. So we've made uh, upgrades to the website. Um, I know we've always been slow to do that kind of thing because obviously we're focused on the research and making sure that we provide products that actually work. But the website has now been upgraded. It's a lot faster. It's a lot smoother. It's a lot easier to use. Um, and it also has health points as well, which is like a mm. loyalty point system. And uh, there's been no price increase. So essentially, it's it's free money for Do Not Age members. One question that was interesting was, I'm in my 30s and my dad is in his 60s. Are there yep. supplements that are best for older or younger people? So there are many variables that affect sort of each person very slightly, um, uh, differently from one to another. But aging is just one of them. So we believe in like testing where possible. So, for example, if you're taking one of our NAD boosters, such as Pure NR, nicotinamide riboside, then you can purchase a testing kit alongside that, which will show you your NAD levels, and then we can give you a personalized recommendation based on that. So when you say you can give a personalized recommendation, can you talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about that? Sure. So what would happen is you would receive your results. Um, so you can share those with us if you if you do want a personalized recommendation because many people don't they just want to track their progress right. and then uh, one of our team will come back to you and sort of ask a few questions about your lifestyle what supplements you're taking any changes that you've seen over the period uh, it becomes even more efficient after a few tests because obviously we can then track that progress and see what's changed and what's having the effect and then obviously give recommendations based on that i think that one thing that was behind that question was that a fair number of people come into the life extension and anti-aging Facebook group. Well, some people come in hoping for some information or help for themselves. Um, some people come in because maybe their parents are aging and dealing with some difficult issues. Yeah. And I guess that kind of a related question to that, that we get fairly often is something like, well, you know, my father or mother, that they're in their 60s or early 70s. Is there maybe a supplement that seems good for them to start with? And I guess, especially based on the idea that there are a lot of compounds in our bodies that the, the levels are very high when we're younger, but they tend to go downhill as we age. So. Yep. And there's vice versa as well. Um, you know, there are some that are low and should be kept low and then they increase as we age uh, which is not a good thing so for example cd38 which we can talk mm -hmm. with apigenin but which supplements should you start with well we have a starter pack on our website which has been created for this exact purpose it gives you six months of our most popular ingredients so that's where i'd recommend what ingredients are in the starter pack so the starter pack is it's our most popular ingredient so obviously cert6 activator is our most popular ingredient by a long way. Um, we then have the NAD booster is NMN. That one's a little bit more popular than NR at the moment. Um, there's TMG, uh, quercetin. There's, so it's basically all the most popular ingredients. And the reason it came about is because we have so many people asking, you know, how do I how do I dip my toe? Um, and so we created the, the starter pack for those people. Another question that came up is, are there Maybe this relates to your starter pack. I don't know, but it says, are there any plans to sell smaller containers of Do Not Age products for people who would like to try them out, but are on a more limited budget? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we do provide most of our ingredients in the 60 capsule form as well. So it's six activate is the only one that we don't at the moment. Um, we, it's something we have considered, um, uh, but it's not on the immediate plans if they're struggling with any of the other ingredients to find the 60 capsule form then maybe they've not understood the website or maybe they've not been on since it's been revamped because that's very very recent another question um there are several studies showing that glynac um which is 
50% glycine plus 50% NAC is a good way to raise glutathione. Are there any plans that do not age to sell um, some version or variation on Glynec? Yes, there are actually. So we're looking around May of this year. Uh, we're just finishing up the testing now. So it'll be a sort of equal parts glycine, equal parts NAC. Oh, <clears throat> for, for anybody that is wanting to uh, increase their glutathione before then, our CAA KG product also has that effect. Will the product just be called Glynac, the one that you were talking about? Or? Um, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, I think what we tend to do is worry about those kind of things after the testing's all done. We want to make sure the thing works first, and then we worry about the name and all that kind of stuff. So in terms of making sure that it works, or, um, or even kind of how you would define that, um, how do you approach that? What do you mean by that? So we start by speaking to our vast network of doctors and researchers. Uh, obviously, there's a, a bias towards Professor Vera Golbanova. She's our lead researcher. Um, so we'll look at the science, get opinions on it, and then we start putting together uh, formulations that we think may have an effect. And then we have test groups that we give those to uh, measure blood markers and things like that. So everything's tested in humans before it hits the website. What, what, we're, what we're trying to achieve is basically that everything on the Do Not Age uh, shop page or product page is only is only what works so we already know that it works and then so basically if you see something that's on do not age.org we already know that it works mm. so when you say that they're tested in groups um mm. can you talk a little bit more about those groups like how many people would be in them and the age range of participants yeah it all depends so we try not to uh, discriminate by age because obviously we do have some younger members that may be in their 30s and things like that um, but the blood, it will always make sure there are uh, men and women because obviously sometimes things work slightly differently across the sexes. Uh, and then it will depend on what we're, met, what we're, the markers we're looking at will depend on the ingredient. So, for example, one of the things you look at with Glynac is the glutathione levels. Okay. And so, are you testing people before and after taking the product to see the change? In levels. Okay. And also listen to their feedback as well, because, you know, you want to make sure that nobody's getting nauseous or having an upset uh, stomach or whatever it might be. Are there supplements that people can take that you're aware of to counteract or start repairing DNA damage, which is one of the um, markers of aging? Yes. So the best way to repair DNA damage is uh, using CERT6 activator. You know, there's a, there's a reason it's our most popular ingredient with Do Not Age members. The CERT6 activator helps with things like genomic stability, uh, DNA repair, as mentioned, and it's also a fantastic anti-inflammatory. So CERT6 activator is the answer. For people who might not be familiar with CERT6 activator, um, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about it and kind of what the whole process is that goes into it? Um, that might sure. be a little different, for example, from some Fucoidin products that people might purchase elsewhere. Yeah, so I suppose the easiest way to describe it is that it's the first and only, at the moment, verified activator of Sirtuin 6. So you know that the product you're taking is definitely going to activate Sirtuin 6, because before that, it was a bit of a lottery. Uh, it's derived from seaweed, um, one that's called Fucus vesiculosus. Unfortunately, not all fucus vesiculosus activates Sirtuin 6, so we have to get batches from all around the world, send them to Gorbanova's lab, uh, which is in New York State in the, in the uh, United States. And then they're tested, each batch is tested, and we need to look for one that has a really strong Sirtuin 6 activation. And sometimes uh, that none of them <laughs> activate Sirtuin 6, and some of them actually inhibit. So we have to keep testing and keep finding new batches uh, until we find one. Uh, that does, and then we harvest that batch and turn it into CERT6 activator. Are there particular markers that they're looking for that are easy to describe to a layperson um, to indicate whether CERT6 is being activated? Um, what's the best way to describe it? So they use an assay that is looking at ribosylation, which is the important part for longevity. And so you find that if ribosylation 
is occurring, that that is, does indicate that the sirtuin 6 gene is, is being activated in the Let test. Me, if you bear with me, I'm going to yeah, yeah. close the tab, but I can open up some emails. I'm just on my laptop at the moment. Yes, that's so I'll you know, get Vera's words herself, and then yeah. that's probably a little easier, isn't it? Right. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, we test it in the biochemical assay that measures CERT6 mono-ADP ribosylation activity, which is the activity important for longevity. Okay. So, yeah. That's probably best coming from Vera, isn't it, rather than me trying to butcher okay. it. So that is a direct quote. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, and so again, what her lab has found is that even if a, seaweed, a type of seaweed contains phacoidin, um, which has been found um, to activate sirtuin 6, that not all types of phacoidin activate it, or not all strains activate exactly. it. Next random unrelated question. Um, it says on the website that do not age supports research. People have expressed an interest in learning more about that, and in particular, whether Do Not Age is more focused on funding independent studies, or are you also conducting some studies yourself, and are they human or animal studies, and just any other information that you can give about them would be helpful. Sure. So the answer is all of the above. We The mission is to extend healthy lifespan for as many people as possible. So. In order to do that, we work in several different ways. We do our own research. Um, so for example, we have the CERT6 activator in a human trial right now to show that it stops cancer. We donate funds to various research in many different countries. Um, most recently donated towards a hormone trial in South America. Um, we also work with some researchers that already have funding and they don't, so they don't need funding. They just need access to the highest quality ingredients for their mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. So with those, we just send them several kilos of whatever they need. So yeah, we support it in any way we can um, is essentially what it is because we understand that we don't have the resources to do all of the necessary research. And we believe in collaboration over competition because everybody should be working towards the same goal, which is to you know, end aging and age-related diseases. The human study that you mentioned to look at whether sirtuin sex activation um, has anti-cancer effects in humans or can you, can you go into that? Are you able to? Yes, we're very, yes, we're very confident about it as well. So we did the mice trial. Everybody that's on our email list would have would have um, read about that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's six activator, the mice lived longer. They were a lot healthier. Um, it was really, really stunning results. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so that Professor Gorbanova got very excited, which if anyone knows uh, Vera, she's not very excitable and very much a, data-driven scientist um, and, and she was very excited and said that we have to get this into human trials ASAP um, and with a human trial at the moment because aging isn't classed as a disease you can't sort of design the study to say you know this will stop aging you have to be very specific about it mm -hmm. so I said what 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 do you think we should do and in the end after some back and forth we settled on uh, humans that have been through chemotherapy um, and obviously then there'll be two groups and the control group and then the CERT6 activator group. Um, and we believe that the group taking CERT6 activator will not have recurrence of tumors. How long will the study run? Um, seems like it would take a while to determine whether that's accurate or not. It's going to be several years, I'm afraid. So that's not, uh, not something I can promise. It's going to be quick, mm -hmm. but that's the nature of it. And that's also why we use mice um, in the early stages, because we can do a mass mm -hmm. trial here and, and prove what we need to. And, you know, we share 98% of our DNA with mice. So it gives us a good indication. So was the mass trial similar in the, the mice had previously had tumors? No, or, it was not. No, it was not. <clears throat> uh, we were looking at lots of different markers in the mice and all of them improved and very, very drastically. Uh, all the ones taken to so activator, obviously. Um, in fact, that's due to be published very soon. So as soon as it is, I can either send that to you or post it in your group or whatever you, however you see. Um, yeah, please, please do send that to me. I think that that would make, especially like you said, well, you're talking about the two different trials, the mouse trial and the human mm -hmm. trial, but with both of them, I think it'd be fascinating. Are you saying they were given the same product that people 
are using when they buy cert six activator basically in product instead of in a capsule it was mixed in with their sort of chow their food for the day interesting and can you talk a little bit more i realized that you know there's a difference between a reading a study and kind of quickly being asked to summarize a few key points from the study but what sorts of changes did you see in biomarkers so well there's quite a lot so it's quite in depth but one of the things they tend to use for judging aging in mice are things like gait, um, fur, color, and quality, um, grip strength, um, vision. There's a few of those. And all of those markers were markedly improved in the uh, mice that were taking cert 6 activator. How interesting. How long did the mouse study run? That's a good question. I can't remember. Well, if, if, so I, it was, it would be before, almost, before, you, it's before you answer. Yeah. Before you answer, it's just going to remind people that I'm springing a lot of these questions <laughs> on Al no, it's, because it's I, I had a yeah, but I had a, a list of a few questions that people in the group had come up with, and there's you know it's it's not really fair. <laughs> I want to I want to say nine months, but please, please, don't, please, please don't hold me to that. In case I'm wrong. Fair enough. I just wanted to mention to people that when I've talked with Alan before, I know he tries very hard to be accurate. So. Um, anyway, just bear in mind <laughs> that these are questions that are just coming out of the blue. And that... I don't want to be getting emails from people saying it was <laughs> 10 months, not nine months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, so it was just, so the most trial you're saying is one that did run for several months, okay? Yeah. And um, that there were, imp- there, there were improvements in many biomarkers. Did the most trial also include um, both sexes? Yes. Okay. Another question here. Um, uh, does Do Not Age have any supplements that support male hormone or female hormone balancing? Not as yet. But as I mentioned earlier, we are supporting research in that area. So if we find something that can really help, we will be sure to provide it. It seems like, again, just reading from some questions on the website, it seems like people who live exceptionally long lives wind up with a small number of stem cells to draw upon when their bodies need to repair themselves. We start out with X number, and by the time we're in our 70s or 80s, the number has shrunk. Um, does uh, Do Not Age sell or recommend any supplements that support stem cell health or plan to sell supplements like that in the future? <laughs> I don't know the answer. I, uh, I recently had stem cell therapy in Colombia, actually. There's a wellness center over there that stocks Do Not Age products. So Mm -hmm. I hopped over. But as for the relationship between supplements and stem cells, I don't know yet. We don't know enough yet to give a concrete answer, so I wouldn't want to. Is there anything that you would like to share um, about your stem cell therapy? Well, because... I'm trying to sort of maximize uh, my health all the time. I don't feel particularly different after having the stem cells. Uh, I still feel healthy. I still feel good. Um, So I'm unsure what difference it had, but I'm sure in time, I've actually got a couple of injuries in both my shoulders. So I had an MRI done while I was there as well. uh, And then spoke to the wellness center and they said next time, because they did it as an IV. So just straight into into the blood. and they said next time they're going to do sort of more focused stem cell therapy to try and repair both of my shoulders because they're pretty messed up from my history of uh, boxing and uh, not looking after my body. Uh, so when they do more focused stem cell therapy, so they're actually having more injections uh, in that area. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, but you know, if anybody wants to try it, and they obviously it's quite expensive, but um, and you know if they have the funds and they want to try it, I would give it a go. I'm actually organizing it for my father. He's got a couple of injuries uh, and that's going to be in May of this year. So mm-hmm. we'll be able to sort of report back on uh, somebody with a, an injury uh, and what their results are. Mm-hmm. Before the year. I remember reading about some cases in which um, stem cell, the results of stem cell therapy were more readily apparent in people who are older and had been dealing with injuries for a longer period. Please. It's a, it's a similar thing with the supplements from do not age.org. So 
it tends to be the older the person is because, for example, let's use the common example of NAD, their NAD in general will be lower than those that are younger. So when they start boosting it, they feel the effects a lot sooner, um, which is, I guess, kind of ironic because we know that the best results are prevention rather than cure. So if you just keep the NAD level healthy throughout, then you won't have those sort of sufferings. But mm. That's, that's the way it is, I'm afraid. Most people aren't bothered about their health until they start losing it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Is there any news yet that you're aware of about NMN and the FDA? Um, do you believe that we'll still have a way to buy NMN in the future? It's extremely likely. So, I mean, NMN's job is to boost NAD, and we have other ways of doing that. So in the, even if the the worst case happens, we have something uh, ready. Um, but yeah, rest assured, you know, Do Not Age is working very, very diligently in the background to make sure that normal service is not interrupted. When you mentioned other ways to raise NAD or keep NAD levels stable, mm. um, I can think of things like epigenin and NR maybe. Are, there, are those the ways that you're thinking of? Or? Yep, that's right. So nicotinamide riboside is sort of growing in popularity all the time. At the moment, um, we still provide more NMN than NR, but the gap is definitely closing. Mm -hmm. um, are you taking one? Do you prefer one or the other yourself? Or? At the moment, I'm taking NMN, uh, but that's because that, that's what's that's what I've got. <laughs> okay. um, I'm living in, in Florida at the moment. Uh, oh, the okay. Got it. States, You're in Florida. So. Interesting. Uh, how, how much longer are you in the US? So I'll be here until around August time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we're in the same country. We had to have lunch or something. We are. Yes, we should. We should. We met up, didn't we? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something like that. And had a little walk in the park. That was very yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. No, I'm, yeah, I'm here for, you know, I've got a few things to sort out. Obviously, it puts me in closer proximity to the U.S. manufacturing um, plant mm -hmm. you know, for do I'm trying to make sure that everything goes smoothly with that. Um, you want to talk a little bit more about that? Like what's going on with the U.S. manufacturing plant? Yes. So uh, we're actually looking to do it in Texas. So it's a couple of states over. Um, but I, I'm in Florida because then it's sort of easier access if I need to go back to the UK and Europe. Mm -hmm. um, but then I can also hop over to Texas as well, where we're uh, getting a, a manufacturing plant ready, um, which will be operational, hopefully, by the middle of this year. But uh, yeah, um, and again, we'll email all the details out once once we've got that. Because at the moment, most <clears throat> most of the things are still made in the United Kingdom. Um, and because... We're growing so rapidly. I think it would be wise uh, to to have multiple mm -hmm. plants. Does Do Not Age have any new supplements in the pipeline, such as perhaps astaxanthin or carnosine? And you had already mentioned um, the the some version of glynac, a combination of glycine and NAC, will be um, joining your uh, list of offerings but any others that people might yes. want to be aware of astaxanthin is not on the cards at the moment from a do not age perspective but we do have the glynac that we mentioned plus we are launching our creatine monohydrate ingredient and that is actually available to order from our website right now mm, okay um so um do you have any opinion or experience that you'd like to share with people about well, let's just say about diet and longevity. Um, for example, one question that circles around now and then is about whether plant-based diets or diets that include food from all three kingdoms, from plant kingdoms, animal kingdoms, and fungal kingdoms like mushrooms um, mm -hmm. are best for longevity. And I know that there's a lot of discussion and debate about that. The studies point in all directions. Um, but do you have any thoughts on that? Do you or, any, or anything that you want to share about your personal approach to your diet? Diet's a tough one, especially for someone like me who's traveling all the time. Um, but it is clear that too much meat isn't great for living longer. But I think there are worse things than meat. So processed foods aren't great, um, particularly those that live in the U.S. There's a lot of laws in the U.S. that are a lot more relaxed than they are in places such as Europe. 
um, and, and there are still a lot of things that are very present and common in foods in the US that have been banned in, in Europe because of their deleterious health effects. Um, you know, but yeah, too much meat, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend, but obviously we do need healthy proteins. Uh, I would probably say fish would be more, uh, more likely to be healthy for you. When they did the, uh, they looked at the sort of metadata of all the studies that have been done on diet. Um, and it was believed that the number one diet that they found so far was sort of vegan, but with fish. Um, but again, I think there's a lot that go into these. There's a lot of variables with these studies. It's and potentially people that tend to live in areas where there's plentiful fish might also have more time outside, be more exercising. And so it's, it's very difficult to know what the perfect diet is. Um, if I was going to eat meat for health, I would eat liver, uh, livers full of goodness. So I'm sorry for the wishy-washy answer, but there isn't a, there isn't a definitive best diet that everybody agrees on as yet. Is there anything that you want to share about your own goals related to anti-aging and life extension? My personal goals are obviously just to sort of optimize my health and be strong, fit and healthy and feeling good in myself uh, for as long as possible. Uh, so far, so good. I've been, I've been trying to improve my sleep. It's very important for those that didn't already know. So that's slowly getting better. All the traveling all the time is, makes that very difficult in different time zones a lot. But, you know, travel's still very present in my life and that can affect sleep, but it, uh, I am improving it. Um, I try and go to the gym at least sort of five times a week. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to live with my assistant now and he, he and I sort of help each other at the gym. Um, stress is another one that's still very present in my life, but I'm actively working to reduce it. So for example, at Do Not Age, we have like a fantastic team that run everything. It means that I don't need to be directly involved in the day to day anymore. I just get to focus on the cool bits that I enjoy, like the research and spending time with great scientists. So, mm -hmm. uh, stress is getting better. Um, I, I get a lot of massages. I try and go for at least one a week. They can be very helpful for both stress and obviously the, the physical effects on your body. Uh, I do love hot and cold therapy. I think there's a lot of good science behind it, but I barely ever do it. I think it's one of those things that you need to get into your routine. And I've had it in, in waves before. And at the moment, I've just not really had a chance to do it. Um, in fact, I might get my assistant to schedule me some time in because I think once it's in your routine, it becomes a lot easier, doesn't it? It's the same with supplements, you know. Um, you need to get them as part of your, your routine. Oh, and of course, trying where possible to spend time with friends and family as well. And mm. social, social mm. interactions are a big part of human happiness. And there's a strong link between that and, and uh, a sense of well-being. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit more about your the types of exercise like when you say that you go to the gym um five days what have you found works well for you are you mostly focusing on uh, resistance training or cardio or yep so i'm a big fan of resistance training um i think particularly as you get older you know sarcopenia muscle wastage uh, affects everybody so definitely people should get used to doing resistance training where possible building muscle or at least maintaining their muscle mass um oh. i think a lot of the times we get we see this uh, in in the later years it tends to be a problem with women um i don't know if it's uh, they don't want to think they're going to get too muscly or whether the gym environment can be a little bit scary if you see guys in there lifting huge weights and things like that but you know resistance training can just be a resistance band uh, it doesn't have to be you know a lot of people link it straight away with with huge big weights and deadlifts and things like that and that's really not the case um, but resistance training is the one that we see that's most closely associated with a uh, long and healthy life. So I would recommend everybody try and steer towards that. And I probably do it too much and uh, not enough cardio. Um, but, you know, it's uh, it's a fine balance. I wanted to thank Alan again for taking the time to do this interview. And also a reminder that for people who are taking or would like to take Do Not Age's supplements, their discount code is the word pathways in all caps just enter that when you're checking out and using that discount code is also a way of supporting this channel so thank you for watching and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video